Have you ever wondered what role you play in the global economy? Well, whether you realize it or not, each one of us plays a vital part. It's like a giant jigsaw puzzle where every piece, no matter how small, is crucial. You, my friend, are one of those pieces. Your personal finances, your spending habits, your savings, your investments, they all contribute to this larger picture. When you buy a coffee, you're supporting the coffee industry, the shipping companies, and even the farmers halfway across the world. When you invest in a startup, you're fueling innovation and possibly creating jobs. It's a web of interconnected activities and transactions, and you're right at the center of it. That's why understanding and managing your finances is so important. It's not just about your wealth, but about how your decisions can influence the global economy. Remember, your economic choices don't just affect you, they ripple through the entire economy. So, how can you make smarter financial choices? Well, it all begins with financial education. Far too often people overlook the importance of understanding the basic principles of money management, investment, and wealth creation. It's like trying to navigate a ship without a compass. Think about it. We live in a world where financial decisions shape our lives. From the loans we take out for education or homes to the retirement plans we choose, these decisions are influenced by our understanding of finances. But here's the catch. Financial education isn't just about understanding numbers and complex economic concepts, it's about a fundamental shift in mindset. It's about recognizing that you're not just a spender, but a potential wealth creator. It's about understanding that every dollar you earn is a seed that, if planted and nurtured properly, can grow into a mighty money tree. With the right knowledge and mindset, you can turn your finances around. Ever lost track of where your money is going? It's a common enough scenario, isn't it? You start the month with a certain amount, and before you know it, it's gone, and you're left scratching your head. This is where the art of money management comes into play. Think of your money like a team of employees. They're all working for you, but if you don't manage them well, they'll wander off and do their own thing. That's why it's essential to keep track of your income and expenses, to know exactly where every cent is going. A budget can be a powerful tool here. A budget isn't about restricting your spending, it's about gaining control. It's about knowing where your money is going and making conscious decisions. You're the boss of your money, not the other way around. And don't forget to safeguard your money. It's not just about earning and spending, but also protecting what you have from unnecessary losses. Remember, a dollar saved is a dollar earned. Is your money sitting idle in the bank? If so, it's time to rethink your strategy. While banks offer a sense of security, the truth is, your money isn't growing there. In fact, due to inflation, it's slowly losing value. Imagine having a seed, but instead of planting it to grow a tree, you keep it in a box. That's what you're doing by saving in the bank. Now think about investing. This is where you plant your seed, your money, and watch it grow over time. Investing can be in stocks, bonds, real estate, or even a startup business. It's a game of patience and understanding, but the rewards can be substantial. Remember, the goal isn't to get rich quick. It's about building wealth sustainably over time. It's about making informed decisions and taking calculated risks. So, don't let your money sit idle. Let your money work for you, not against you. Ready to take the next step in your financial journey? Great, let's explore the thrilling path of becoming an investor. Now, investing isn't a get-rich-quick scheme. It's a strategic game of patience and discipline, where you plant the seeds of your hard-earned money and watch them grow over time. Let's talk about the magic of compound interest. Picture this. You invest a small sum today, it earns interest, and then that interest earns interest, and so on. It's like a snowball rolling down a hill, gathering more snow as it goes along. This is the power of compound interest. It allows your wealth to grow exponentially over time. Remember, investing isn't just about making money, it's about creating a secure future for yourself and your loved ones. It's about achieving financial freedom. So start today. Start small, but start. Because investing is the key to building wealth over time. Are debt and taxes eating into your wealth? Let's dive into this touchy yet crucial subject. Debt and taxes, if not managed well, can indeed become a heavy burden, eroding your hard-earned wealth. But it doesn't have to be that way. Let's start with debt. It's not inherently bad. In fact, it can be a useful tool when used responsibly. The problem arises when debt becomes unmanageable, like high-interest credit card debt or loans you can't afford. The key is to borrow wisely and repay promptly. Now let's talk taxes. They're unavoidable but you can control how much you pay. Educate yourself about tax laws and deductions. You'd be surprised how much you can save with a little knowledge and planning. In essence, 
Managing debt and taxes effectively is crucial in building and preserving wealth, so don't let them intimidate you. Instead, use them to your advantage. Remember the goal is to minimize your liabilities and maximize your assets. How healthy is your financial reputation? This is a question worth pondering. Your financial reputation, often reflected in your credit score, is more than just a number. It's a portrait of your financial health, a snapshot of your fiscal responsibility. It's crucial to maintain a good credit score, but why? Well, a high credit score can be your ticket to better interest rates when you need a loan or a credit card. It can also be a deciding factor when you're renting a home or even during a job application process. Imagine your credit score as a trust meter. The higher it is, the more financial institutions, landlords, and employers trust you. A low score, on the other hand, might raise red flags. Building and maintaining a good credit score requires consistent effort. Pay your bills on time, keep your credit utilization low, and manage your debts effectively. Remember, a good financial reputation can open doors to better opportunities. Ever encountered a financial problem that seemed impossible to solve? Well, we all have, it's a part of the journey. But what makes the difference is how we approach these problems. Proactive problem solving is the key. It's about identifying potential issues before they become full-blown problems. It's about having a plan in place to address these issues. It's about being prepared, not just reacting when things go wrong. Think of it as a chess game. You're not just moving pieces around the board. You're thinking several moves ahead, anticipating your opponent's actions, and planning your strategy. In personal finance, this might mean setting aside emergency funds, diversifying your investments, or planning for tax season well in advance. It's about taking charge of your financial future and not leaving it to chance. So next time you face a financial challenge, don't panic. Plan, be proactive. Remember, a problem is only as big as your ability to solve it. Every decision you make has a cost, but do you know what it is? When it comes to building wealth, understanding the concept of opportunity cost is key. This is the potential gain you miss out on when choosing one alternative over another. Think of it this way. If you decide to splurge on a luxury item today, you're not just spending money, you're also giving up the chance to invest that money and grow it over time. It's like a silent transaction happening behind every decision you make. And it's not just about money, it's about time too. The hours you spend binge-watching that new show, that's time you could have spent learning a new skill or starting a side hustle. In the grand scheme of wealth building, these costs add up. So the next time you're faced with a choice, pause. Consider the opportunity cost. Remember, every decision you make today impacts your wealth tomorrow. Are you willing to sacrifice today for a better tomorrow? This, my friends, is the essence of delayed gratification. It's about making choices today that might not be thrilling or instantly rewarding, but will set you up for future success. It's the backbone of building wealth. Think about it like planting a tree. You start with a tiny seed in your hand. It's not much to look at, right? But you plant it, water it, and give it sunlight. It doesn't turn into a towering oak overnight. It takes time, patience, and consistent care. But one day you'll look out your window and see a strong, beautiful tree where that tiny seed once was. That's what delayed gratification looks like in personal finance. It's choosing to invest rather than spend, to save rather than splurge. It's the decision to build a future that's secure and prosperous. Remember, the road to wealth is a marathon, not a sprint. So, are you ready to take control of your financial future? Let's take a moment to reflect on the journey we've embarked on today. We've explored the impact of our individual roles in the global economy, highlighting the importance of financial education and a shift in mindset. We've learned the art of money management, how not to save in the bank, but instead, to embrace the path of an investor. We've also delved into the burdens of debt and taxes, understanding the significance of maintaining a good financial reputation. We've seen the benefits of a proactive problem-solving approach and how it can be a game-changer in our financial lives. We've discussed the cost of our decisions and the impact they have on wealth building. Finally, we've grasped the concept of delayed gratification and how it can be a powerful tool in the pursuit of financial freedom. Remember, building wealth starts with you, so take the reins and start your journey today.